Hello students, let us continue the session on understanding elementary shapes. In the previous session, we discussed till exercise 5.4. Let's begin with exercise 5.5. The first question is, which of the following are models for perpendicular lines? First one, the adjacent edges of the table top. This particular thing is a model for perpendicular lines as the edges are perpendicular to each other. The lines of a railway track, no, they are not perpendicular. Actually, they run parallel to each other. The line segments forming the letter L, yes, you can observe there are two line segments which will be perpendicular to each other. So it represents model for perpendicular lines. Letter V. The letter V is not a model for perpendicular lines because the angle formed is less than 90 degree between those two line segments. Second question. Let line segment PQ be the perpendicular to the line segment XY. Let PQ and XY intersect in the point A. What is the measure of angle PAY? A rough diagram, I'll draw it. One of the line segment and another line segments, they intersect each other at point A. One of the line segment is XY. Another line segment is PQ. They are asked, what is angle PAQ? Angle PAQ will be 90 degrees. Because PQ is perpendicular to XY. So, angle PAY will be 90 degrees. Question number 3. There are two set squares in your box. What is the measure of the angles that are formed at their corners? Do they have any angle measure that in common? I have brought in the figures. These two figures, they represent the two types of set squares which are present in your compass box. In the first one, we have the angle measures equal to 30 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. And in the second one, we have 45 degrees, 45 degrees and 90 degrees. What is common in between these two figures? They have a common angle, 90 degrees. So both these figures, they represent a right angled triangle. Of which the first one is a scalene right angled triangle. And the second one is isocellus right triangle. You need to know the difference between scalene right triangle and isocellus right triangle. A scalene right triangle is one in which the sides are different. And in the uh, isosceles right triangle, two of the sides adjacent to 90 degrees will be equal to each other. Let's look at the next question. Study the diagram. The line L is perpendicular to the line M. Is CE equal to EG? I'll write the answer here. Yes, because... The length of CE is 2 units, same is the length of EG, therefore they are equal to each other. Does PE bisect CG? Yes, it is because E becomes the midpoint. It means CE will be equal to EG. So it bisects CG. C 
identify any two line segments for which P is perpendicular bisector. I can consider say BG, I can consider this line segment and I can also consider the line segment DF. You can have many more like that, I have considered only two. Are these true? In that sub question 1, AC greater than FG, the length of AC is 2 units, the length of FG is 1 unit, so it is true. I should write true or false, I will not write yes or no, I will write true or false. This particular statement is true. CD equal to GH. CD and GH, they are one unit each. So, this statement is also true. BC less than EH. The length of BC is one unit. The length of EH is three units. So, this particular statement is also true. All the three statements are true. Let's have a look at next question. Next question is from exercise 5.6. Look at the question here. Name the type of the following triangles. Of which the first one is triangle with lengths of side 7 cm, 8 cm and 9 cm. All the sides of the triangle are different. So it forms a scalene triangle. Next second one, triangle ABC with AB equal to 8 centimeter, 8.7 centimeter, AC equal to 7 centimeter, BC equal to 6 centimeter. In this case also, we have all the three sides different, so it forms scaling triangle. Next PQR. In that PQ, QR, PR, they are equal to 5 cm each. Since all the sides are equal, it forms an equilateral triangle. Triangle DEF with measure of angle D equal to 90 degree. If in a triangle, one of the angle is 90 degree, it is called as a right angled triangle triangle xyz with a measure of angle y equal to 90 degrees xy equal to yz if xy and yz they are equal what type of triangle is formed this will be the rough figure of the triangle xyz angle y is 90 degree xy and yz they are equal it forms as a discussed isosceles right triangle triangle l m n with measure of the angles l m and n all are less than 90 degree so this particular thing is acute angled triangle remember friends if the sides say AB not equal to BC not equal to CA it forms a scaling triangle if two of the sides AB is equal to BC then it forms isosceles triangle if all the three sides are equal, it forms equilateral triangle. Same way, if all the angles are less than 90 degree, it forms acute angle triangle. If one of the angle is 90 degree, it forms a right triangle. If <coughs> one of the angle is more than 90 degree, it forms obtuse angle triangle. In a right triangle, if two of the angles are 45 each, it forms isosceles right triangle. Remember that. Next question is to match the following. The measure of triangle, type of the triangle. 
if three sides of equal length are there it forms equilateral triangle so for one the right answer is e for two two of the sides are equal it forms an isosceles triangle g is the right answer for that third one all the sides are of different length it forms a scaling triangle option a fourth one three acute angles it forms acute angle triangle f is the right answer for that fifth one one right angle it forms a right angled triangle option is d sixth one one obtuse angle it forms obtuse angle triangle option c and the seventh one and the last one one right angle with two sides equal it forms isosceles right triangle option b these are the answers question number 3 name each of the following figures in two different ways you may judge the nature of the angles by observation here first figure we have got all the angles less than 90 degrees so it forms an acute angled triangle in the first one only one more uh, way i can define here if you observe two of the sides are equal so it also forms isosceles triangle next we have second one the measure of all the three sides are different so it forms a scaling triangle if you observe the angle here one of the angle is 90 degree so right angled triangle is formed see two of the sides are equal so it forms an isosceles triangle and one of the angle measure is larger than 90 degree so it forms obtuse angled triangle option d it is isosceles triangle since two sides are equal one of the angle is 90 degree so it is right angled triangle also next we have all the three sides equal so it forms equilateral triangle and all the angle measures are less than 90 degree it forms acute angled triangle whenever all the angles are equal it is also called as equiangular you have to remember this it is also called as equiangular next the last one if the measure of all the sides are different so it forms a scaling triangle and one of the angle measure is 9 more than 90 degree so obtuse angled triangle these are the two different ways to represent the same triangles next question <laughs> try to construct triangles using the matchsticks some of them are given here there are different number of matchsticks used here can you make a triangle with three matchsticks is it possible yes it is possible you can have a matchstick like this one matchstick second matchstick and the third matchstick so you can have a triangle formed using three matchsticks b can we make a triangle using four matchsticks no it's not possible to make using four matchsticks five matchsticks is it possible if i consider one of the matchstick here one more here 
two matchsticks then followed by two more matchsticks then having one more matchstick so it is possible so yes d is it possible to make using six matchsticks answer is yes the reason is here i can have two matchsticks followed by two more matchsticks here at the base we can have two matchsticks so totally six matchsticks can be used to make the triangle next in line we have exercise 5.7 first question is to say true or false each angle of a rectangle is a right angle this statement is true because all the angle measures 90 degree in a rectangle as well as a square the opposite sides of a rectangle are of equal length this is also true the diagonal of a square are perpendicular to each other this concept is also true if you consider a square the diagonals they are perpendicular to each other the angle formed here is 90 degree in class 9th you are going to study this concept in detail Fourth one, all the sides of rhombus are of equal length. This statement is also true. All the sides of a parallelogram are of equal length. This statement is false because we defined parallelogram with opposite sides equal, not all the sides. The opposite sides of a trapezium are parallel. False. The reason is only one pair of the opposite side will be parallel. Another pair, they are not parallel. Next question. Question number two. Give reasons for the following. A square can be thought of as a special rectangle. The reason for this statement is a square has all the properties that are true in case of a rectangle therefore it is a special rectangle a square has all the properties as that of a rectangle so it is a special rectangle option second a rectangle can be thought as a special parallelogram yes a rectangle has the same properties as that of a parallelogram a rectangle has the same properties as that of a parallelogram. So it is a special parallelogram next c a square can be thought as a special rhombus square has all the properties which are same as the rhombus so a square has all properties same as that of a rhombus square rectangle parallelogram these are all quadrilaterals because they all have 
four sides enclosed next square is also a parallelogram yes all properties of square is of a parallelograms so a square is also a parallelogram question number 3 a figure is said to be a regular if its sides are equal in length and angles are equal in measure can you identify a regular quadrilateral if you consider all the sides equal and all the angles equal all the angles will be equal to 90 degrees if i name this as abcd angle a equal to angle b equal to angle c equal to angle d all be equal to 90 degrees ab will be equal to bc will be equal to ca sorry cd which will be equal to da all sides are equal it's a square a square has got all sides and angles equal so it is a regular quadrilateral is a regular quadrilateral next we have exercise 5.8 examine whether the following are polygons if any one among them is not say why it is not first one if you look at this figure it is not closed so it is not a polygon this figure is a closed figure and it is having many sides so it is a polygon next we have option c it's a circle this circle is not having a line segment it is made up of a curve though it is a closed figure we will not consider it as a polygon not a polygon as it has as it has no line segments this figure fourth one is not a polygon because it has an arc enclosed with line segments so what you must understand is a polygon will be having all the line segments enclosed not the curves next question name each of the following polygons make two more examples for each one of them look at the first one it's having a four sides so it forms a quadrilateral second one is having three sides it forms a triangle the third one is having five sides it forms a pentagon fifth one is having eight sides so it forms an octagon i have brought in some figures here you can understand a square and a rectangle both are quadrilaterals i have brought in two different triangles one is a acute angle triangle or this obtuse angle triangle both are triangles i have brought in two pentagons in which all the sides equal it's a regular pentagon first one in the second one all the sides are different it's not a regular pentagon same is the case with octagon the number of sides i have considered as 8 in first figure the sides are not equal in the second figure the sides are equal this is a regular octagon this is not a regular octagon let's look at the question 3 draw a rough sketch of a regular hexagon 
connecting any three of its vertices draw a triangle identify the type of triangle you have drawn let me consider this figure a b c d e f it's a sketch of a regular hexagon all the sides are equal we have joined d a b with the line segments look at the triangle here actually it forms a scaling triangle all the three sides will be different but if we join the alternate vertices we get equilateral triangle if you take eac the dotted lines it forms equilateral triangle let's look at question 4 draw a rough sketch of a regular octagon use squared paper if you wish so draw a rectangle by joining exactly the four vertices of the octagon look at this figure here a b c d e f g h is a rough sketch of a regular octagon it has got eight sides if you connect g h c d this particular fo figure formed inside is a rectangle question five a diagonal is a line segment that joins two of the vertices of a polygon and is not a side of the polygon draw a rough sketch of a pentagon draw all its diagonals look at this figure here a b c d e it represents a pentagon the line segment a d a c b e and c e these are five diagonals there are five diagonals in a pentagon let's take up the last exercise exercise 5.9 the first question is to match the following these are the solid figures cone cone is there in the second one so the for the option a we have two we need to give two more new examples for this shape examples i'll write beside it an ice cream cone and also a birthday cap let's look at spear spear is the fourth figure the other two examples are like a football if it is having a plane surface so let me not consider this football at all let me consider a tennis ball and also a cricket ball these are spears for that instance you can take marble also marble is also a spherical in shape cylinder it's a figure 5 examples a, a rod of a roller a lawn roller these are cylindrical in shape next d cuboid cuboid is there in figure number three the other two examples i'll give one is a matchbox other is a brick next pyramid this is there in figure first one other two examples are like egyptian pyramid egypt pyramid a diamond is also a shape of a pyramid next question what is the shape of your instrument box let me change the color 
An instrument box is cuboidal in shape. Cuboid. A matchbox is also a cuboidal in shape. A brick is a cuboidal in shape. A road ruler, it's a cylinder, cylindrical in shape. A sweet ladu is spherical, so it is a spear. Hence, we have completed the chapter. I urge you to subscribe the channel so that if any previous videos are missed out, you can always look back or refer back. Now, in the next session, we will be discussing about another very important chapter which is for half yearly examination. It is called as fractions. Uh, if it is not available on the ssbj.in website, still you can go through the videos once you have subscribed channels. That's all for today's session. Thank you.